but a reed. The wind was blowing icy in the fields that day, with the weed waving pretty on the land. Sun shone on my worried frown as my youngest daughter ran to grab my hand. Her laughter it rang like a silver bell, and sprinkled to the furrows in the ground. How was I to tell her of the news that I had heard? Of the sickness that was loose upon the land. So I said that she should help me, as she always did. When Daddy hitched the header to the ford, although her little fingers couldn't wrap around that hitch. Stood her ground against the tractor's roar. Gonna be a good cop, Dad. And she yelled as she got on. We're gonna move the winter weed into the barn. Her grim determination eased my worry just a trace as she jumped up there behind me, safe from harm. All her friends, while she held tight to me in her office on the fort, as the header pulled the weed off of the land. We sang our songs together through the whining engine's noise. Her favorite songs I had taught her how to sing. The ones I often sang to her at lullaby time, when she was still a tiny little thing. Well, how would I tell her of her uncle Claude? In a hurry, all alone, because he picked the virus up at Thompson's carryout, and now he wasn't ever going home. I can't tell my little girl; I just can't bring myself to. So for now, we'll just bring the harvest in. My small girl and me, and the boy I never had, as she helps me keep the header true and trim. And some day away, maybe months and maybe years, she'll be safe from what she can't now comprehend. But for now, anyway. We'll just be mowing hay and watch the wind blowing dust across the land. And when my daughter's grown with kids of her own, why then she'll find a way to understand. But for now, her and me, we'll just keep mowing hay and feel the cold wind blowing dust. Across the land, we'll pull the winter wheat from the land.